If there was one player that everybody could agree that will likely stay with the same team for their entire career, it would probably be Damian Lillard. But apparently that's not the case anymore. So today we will be looking at the hypothetical possibilities for Damian Lillard's future. Also, if you don't run from the grind, or if you are a Miami Heat fan, hit that subscribe button. I kind of post videos about basketball, so I think you will enjoy them. Now let's get straight to the video. First thing we should obviously talk about, the Portland Trailblazers. Lillard has obviously spent a majority of his career with the Portland Trailblazers, but now he wants to move on to greener pastures, specifically in Miami. But the current Portland Trailblazers roster doesn't look that bad when you compare the public perception of it to the depth chart. The starting lineup for the Portland Trailblazers is Damian Lillard at the 1, Anthony Simons at the 2, Shaden Sharp at the 3, Jeremy Grant at the 4, and Yusuf Nurkic at the 5, with backups including Scoot Henderson, Matisse Thybul, and Nasir Little. Obviously, this team hasn't made the playoffs in a bit of time, but with their recent draft picks of Scoot Henderson and Chris Murray and the potential of getting a center like, uh, let's say, Christian Wood, I don't think this roster is as bad as everybody would like to make it look like it is. But there's obviously one more place that would fit him better. So that brings us to our next destination, Miami. Damian Lillard's side chick for the past couple years has been the Miami Heat and now more than ever does it make sense for him to join them. One thing the Heat struggled with a lot in the playoffs is they didn't have one concise primary offensive player. Although Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo gave the Heat a majority of their buckets, they had to rely on offensive players like Gabe Vincent, Max Struess, Kevin Love to keep their head above water. Damian Lillard scored 32 points per game and had seven assists, which puts him around top three for total points generated in the NBA. And although the sample size is small, Lillard has stepped up in the big games when it was necessary. So for him to be the captain of the offense for the Miami Heat would definitely guarantee them at least an Eastern Conference Finals appearance. And the last thing you're probably here for, Damian Lillard's rap career. Now I'm gonna say a hot take. And I don't know how many people would agree with me because I don't know how many people listen or have listened to Damian Lillard's music. Damian Lillard is not that bad of a rapper. Of course, he's not a lyrical genius like a Kendrick Lamar. He doesn't produce his own songs, but that doesn't really matter. Obviously, being good at those things would make for a pretty good rap career, but Damian Lillard is a pretty good lyricist. He writes his own songs. He doesn't have a terrible voice, and his beats are not trash, and he's probably a little bit more focused on winning a championship than he is dropping a mixtape. The instrumental that you're currently hearing now is one of his songs, Moneyball, that you can stream on pretty much every music streaming service. This is not a paid promotion. Personally, I think it's pretty good. So if Lillard is desperate to put a ring on his finger in terms of accolades, he could always feature on a Taylor Swift album. Now I'm going to lay some heartbreaking news on you, so I'd recommend if you're listening to this that you sit down. I do not listen to Taylor Swift's music. I know, I know, I know it's crazy, but there is one thing that I do know about Taylor Swift. Occasionally, Taylor Swift will feature a rapper on her albums. Recently, she featured Ice Spice, and she's featured Kendrick Lamar and Future in the past. So, with the connections that Lillard has, if you were to feature on a Taylor Swift album with the prominence that she has in terms of winning Grammys, he might be able to finally get his long-desired ring. Thank you guys for watching all the way. If you did enjoy, please consider the following. If Lillard were to stay with the Portland Trailblazers for the rest of his career, do you think it's more likely for him to win an NBA championship or for him to win a Grammy or a Billboard Top 100 placement? Leave your answers in the comments below, and I hope you had a great day, and goodbye.